Got a review on this hat here. This is the Burberry Vintage Check Cotton Baseball Cap. Man, that's a sequence there. We can get it started out right now with the print all over. Y'all see it. So styling wise, very nice hat. I'm not going to lie. You got your Burberry monogram print all throughout the hat. Let me show sure y'all get that good 360. Underneath the lid, you got the Burberry print all throughout here. And you got the black all on the inside here. So really nice hat. Really nice hat. I'm not going to lie. One of my favorites. Y'all know I call all this stuff my favorite, but I really mean it. Only thing about this hat is, um, let, well, how can I put it? It's not the sizing, and I'm going to go ahead and get into the sizing in a second here, but it's just the way it fits. For some reason, this hat is kind of tight on my head. I know I got a big head. Y'all don't got to tell me, but I like to wear it at a slant. If y'all can see that, I hope y'all the camera is doing me justice right now. But yeah, I wear mine like to the back. I never wear these hats to the front ever. Yeah, so when y'all get one of these, um, or if y'all decide to get one of these, make sure you double checking on the sizing. This is a size large. I mean, y'all know I, I can't go no smaller than that. So as y'all can see right there, along with the uh, tag, you got your LG right there, black interior. And uh, I want to show y'all these buttons here that have all the detail. Burberry England on the buttons. I hope y'all can see that. And then another thing I want to show y'all here is how the buttons only have two buttons on the inside when you clip it. And then on the outside, it has three. So it's uh, just a dummy button on there. If you wear it on one, I mean, the hat's going to be all flimsy and stuff. So you definitely can't do that. I got to wear it too because uh, everybody know your boy ain't getting to a three. So that's how it looks on the outside there. And then on the inside, y'all can see that dummy button there. But yeah, so I mean, that's the main thing. I want you guys to get the right size. That's what I'm here for. I don't want y'all to make the mistake. And a lot of people don't have malls with designer brands on the inside. Y'all may have to order online. So with me having this big long head, um, I went large, which is fine. I don't know if the extra large will make a big difference. I actually tried it on if I'm not mistaken, but I wasn't that into it at the time. So now I have a better perspective of how stuff fits and, you know, wearing it all the time and all that good stuff. But yeah, I just like to throw that slant in it when I throw it on like that. Pricing wise, pricing wise, you're looking at 400 bucks on this hat, which uh, if you compare it to other designer brands, I mean, it's a pretty good price. Gucci, I want to say is 400 plus or around 500 for their hat. So, I mean, you're getting that monogram printed, all that good stuff. So you can't really complain. So that's that we got the comfort we got the size yeah i think we pretty much covered everything i'm gonna give y'all another 360 of the hat um if i do decide to get another one like this um i guess i would go with the one that well it's a blank one they have i'm hoping y'all seen it it doesn't have the thomas burberry the tv on there i like this one way better because the blank one is pretty much the same thing but kind of like a gas station hat if y'all know what i'm talking about but uh yeah, a great hat overall. I def definitely recommend it. It's definitely worth it. Um, if y'all want to grab it, drop some comments below. I can give y'all some tips or anything. But I appreciate y'all tuning in, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out.